Hi everyone, it's Miss Nikki Ann, and I just wanted to do an update um, on how things are going. Yesterday, um, I had my infusion, um, my saline infusion, and um, uh, just didn't go too well. They wound up having to contact my rheumatologist and um, give me some intravenous um, Zofran my stomach just isn't working it is not working and i have officially just stopped um eating solid food and um just drinking a nutritional drink until i see i don't know whenever i go to stand up i start dry heaving and my stomach something is, is spasming and it just goes really bad and really wrong and um, so yesterday once again I was um, bound to the um, um, to use the potty in um, the potty chair thing I couldn't make it to the bathroom because I ended up having to call for someone and it was funny because usually my issue was standing up and having a TIA or or um, um, being tachycardic but I was like, my, my nurse was like, so are you fainting? I'm like, I'm not even fainting. I said, I'm getting my infusion, so, you know, I'm feeling good there. My my pressure's up really well. Um, my blood's feeling great in there, so I'm not TIAing. But um, my, I, my stomach, uh, my stomach is causing me so many problems. So I, um... Yeah, so the Zofran and um, then the Tramadol because the pain just got so intense. And so my rheumatologist called me while I was there in the hospital and she was, she's right upstairs. Um, and she had spoken to the nurses and I was telling her about the incident with Dr. Kluger, the cardiologist and POT specialist. And so she said, um, let me call you back. So she called his office and um, had a talk with them and then called me back and said that they were so apologetic that above anything else, um, their POTS patients are their number one care because they understand that by the time we have gotten to them that it's probably been years worth of journeys and doctors and being pushed around and so she said it was just a coincidence that it had happened that way twice and that I wound up being rebooked twice and that usually they um, will fit the person in that as the last appointment but it just so happened that that day that I had come that he had to um, be somewhere to give a talk so he couldn't put me in as his last appointment and she said they do not run their practice that way they care about their patients they're serious about pots they love treating pots and and um helping patients and blah 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 and she even said she understood why we would be frustrated upset she understood why my mother had to be firm with her on the phone um this is now his um nursing this part and she said she's a mom and she could completely understand how we felt. And so, um, and that they really want me as a patient and that um, I'm the perfect candidate candidate to be, um, 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 you know, one of his patients. And so my rheumatologist was telling me all of this and um, she's like, I said, you know, I'm really, you know, against it. I don't feel comfortable, even after what you've said. You know, it's like I, I can forgive because, you know, it's life. You got to forgive. But I d didn't feel comfortable pursuing him. And she said to me, um, Nikki, you're really sick. And he is our last resort as far as um, dysautonomia and pot specialists around here are concerned and to actually have someone who's right in state who is knowledgeable and willing to help um we need help she's like and we need it now we needed it yesterday and, and so 
I told her, I said, she kept going, going, and I love her, and I, I do appreciate her wisdom. I said, you know, I'm going to go with your wisdom, and I said, you know, whatever, I said, and as a God-fearing woman that she is, I said, whatever God has in store, I said, I'm going to trust your wisdom, because you seem to be very determined. And um, I called the office, spoke with his assistant, and she was telling me the same thing she told my rheumatologist. And um, she was even going to come because I took the files with me. I asked him to give me my files, and she was like, he um, was going to look for them so he could, I guess he didn't realize I wasn't coming back. <laughs> and they were all gone, and she said if she could come by my house, to pick them up um that would be great so that she could get them to him to review and schedule me for um hopefully for Tuesday and so I said okay I said to her is he a good guy because I've spoken to her plenty of times and she's always been nothing but accommodating um and so I, I just said you know is he a good guy that's what matters to me and she said he is a good guy. And if he wasn't a good guy and good at what he does, I wouldn't be working here. And she said, she says that people come from around, um, from across the nation to seek his help with POTS patients. And that since they know all that we've been through, by the time we get to see, see him, that they're very concerned with the way that we are treated in the office and that we get, um, um, first priority there because he's an, an, an electrophysiologist cardiologist so he said POTS patients are the number one concern in the office and so I said okay I said I'm, I'm saying yes because my rheumatologist has never never steered me wrong and so um, I told her I said don't worry about it we can drop the files to you on like Monday because I was in the hospital you know when I was talking to her and she was like okay she said we open at 8 but I'm there at 6 a.m. and if you guys want to um, drop it off it's, or I said we will be there I said we are early birds because of my illness and we will be there at 6 a.m. with the files so we'll see how that goes um, I took the videos about him down not because I'm not gonna put them back up I will um, but based on my visit and how it goes with him, I'll probably edit and um, amend and so forth. I'm um, going to give him a chance to redeem himself in person and in office um, before I just um, take the man's name and run it through the mud. You know, um, there are some people who need that treatment, um, but... He's trying, and so it could all be coincidental, everything that happened. And so I want, I'll want i give him a chance because of my doctor's wisdom, and I'll amend the um, video based on my visit with him. And um, But I may even just put it back up soon without his name and the title, just bad doctors. And because I think other people need to see these videos about... Um, and know that they're not alone about what we go through um, when we have bad visits with doctors and what it does and what it's like and that they're not alone and so but anyway I'm here on a liquid diet um, so many issues so many that I can't even put them into this video but I did want to update about Dr. Kluger and just to say that my stomach my gastroparesis is really bad and it's and my GI doesn't want to do anything until I've seen a neurologist. But I think this visit with the cardiologist, the POT specialist, will um, suffice, I think. Um, he just needs a specialist in that area to tell him which direction. And she did tell me that he's really good, the POT specialist, and that she was like, I'm going to tell you now, it's a very long process. I wanted to tell her. Yeah, I've been. I've, I know it's a long process, <laughs> but I guess she's saying to getting better um, in the way that he can help. It's a very long process. Be patient, but he's really diligent, and um, I should see some results. So we'll see. 
um but that's it because we're 10 minutes in but i just want to say that i want to give him a chance to redeem himself and i'm sorry guys i don't feel well when i go to stand i'm still and i don't have this old friend and so i have something but i don't, I don't know i like zofran the best and i'm still gagging and so forth and whatever's happening so but that's it um be well and i'm gonna go check out some more videos and thank you to everyone who left comments about my bad doctor visits i appreciate um your care and your concern it meant a lot to me a lot and that's it okay mm.